Steve Coffey. <laughs> My witness news at five is next. And we continue to follow that breaking news. The head of the MTA, Jan O'Lieber, just addressed the postponement of congestion pricing. He laid out where the agency goes from here without that much needed money for mass transit upgrades. We have much more. Stay with us at five. Tomorrow at 10, a gas station worker's car wrongfully repoed. The car has been paid off for years. The car was gone in just over 60 seconds. But he couldn't get it back for over a year. So he has someone on your side to get behind the wheel. Tomorrow, when I witness news mornings at 10. Jamal Bowman keeps attacking President Biden, and it's hurting New York. Bowman called President Biden a liar. He voted against the President's Infrastructure Act, against rebuilding roads and bridges in New York, against replacing dangerous lead pipes. Jamal Bowman even voted against President Biden's debt limit deal, putting Social Security and Medicare payments at risk. Jamal Bowman has his own agenda, and he's hurting New York. UDP is responsible for the content of this ad. Enjoy store-wide savings with up to 20% off your entire purchase during Rainmore's Flanagan's Summer Savings Event. The more you buy, the bigger your discount. And with delivery in three days or less, you can upgrade your home in no time. Plus, enjoy deals on top mattress brands. Mattresses are in stock and ready for free next day delivery. Or want to buy now and pay later? Take advantage of no interest financing for 72 months. Get up to 20% off your entire purchase during Rainmore and Flanagan's Summer Savings Event. It's New York's number one news with Bill Ritter and Shade Benrenoir and meteorologist Lee Goldberg with the exclusive Natural Weather Forecast. Now, Eyewitness News at 5. Tense moments in the courtroom as a former cop turned drug dealer is sentenced to four consecutive life sentences for killing four men during a drug deal in Orange County. Shocking video of an investment banker punching a woman in the face in Brooklyn. We have new information about what may have led to the violent reaction. But first, we do have some breaking news. One of the architects of congestion pricing and its chief spokesman speaking out this afternoon for the first time since Governor Hogel pulled the plug on the controversial plan last week. MTA CEO Jan Lieber just wrapping up a news conference. The MTA had banked on $1 billion from the congestion pricing tolls to pay for improvements to the aging transit system. With the latest, I was reporter Lindsay Tuckman live at MTA headquarters in Lower Manhattan. Lindsay. Bill, the chair and CEO of the MTA just finished speaking and essentially said that last week was incredibly difficult given that they have been working for years to implement congestion pricing. He said now is the time to reprioritize and even shrink some major transit projects. It's a sentiment somewhat at odds with what Governor Kathy Hochul had to say today.